at the moment, empty. So let's go ahead and add some concept, uh, some content. We'll go ahead and use this live section tool down the right, which is organized by floors. It makes it very easy to dive into the building to start adding our content. Now, it's typical of planners to design a floor plan in 2D. Mm -hmm. This particular design was actually designed in draft side. So we can take the DWG file and overlay that into our 3D design. It makes it easy to use it as a guide to add content, oh, yeah. such as walls and stairwells. Speaking of stairs, let's go ahead and add one in. You see it snaps to the floor and brings on a triad very similar to the one that you'll find in SolidWorks. So you can move it across and snap it up against the wall. This content is intelligent as well, so it'll add a hole in the floor above. Now we know that not many of our customers actually design buildings themselves, but many of you design content that goes into buildings, such as furniture and plumbing and air conditioning. So what we've done is made it easy to, for you to share your content with the building planners. So let's go ahead and search some content online. And it's going to give me a number of items that we're going to use within this building. So we'll take a look at the cubicle and just drag and drop that onto, into the floor space. It uses a concept similar to SmartMate, so it knows exactly where it's supposed to go. And if you want to make a copy of that, we'll simply use the triad, as we saw previously, and just drag it over to the left. So you can see, very quick, very easy, a very nice conceptual tool for designing office space. But you can also use the concept of patterns to, uh, to update this design as well. Okay, so that's a bit look good here. We can see we've got a nice uh, layout of cubicles and we built in the building. What we don't have is any office space, so let's go ahead and add some of those for the execs. Okay, if you want to add an office, just go down to a very simplified user interface at the bottom, just like pick a rectangle, and we're just going to draw the space up against this, this wall here. Now, because we're based on the V6 online platform, it makes it very easy to collaborate with customers and suppliers. There's a very handy little chat section at the bottom there where you can, you can work with, uh, with your customers. Apparently, there's a new CEO in town, and he wants a bigger office. So let's go ahead and make some, make some changes to that. We can take the, the whole office and just pick it up and just drag it across. Is that big enough, Patron? No? Okay. Okay, well, we'll see if we've got an open conference space there. Perhaps we'll steal some of that. So we'll go ahead and resize this. Just pick up, just, uh, go ahead and uh, pick a wall. And again, using the triad, we'll just drag it out. So it looks like it understands the difference between interior, interior walls, exterior walls, curtain walls. So you see it automatically trims itself back. I don't know if we can either delete that wall or just drag it over there to, to finish our design. Now, of course, we now need to add an office for the trans assistant, Katrina. So we'll just go ahead and just drag and copy uh, to create a new building, sorry, a, new, a new office right next to this, right next to the trans. And as before, we can just take that and we'll just use the triad and we'll copy and paste that over to the left. Perhaps uh, take a, make a build, a, uh, an office for Fielder. And, uh, and if we pattern it, perhaps I'll take one of those myself as well. <laughs> okay, but I know that Chino won't be really very really happy with uh, an, off an office that just have a window. So we'll go ahead and take steal some of the Tron space and we'll just go ahead and just draw lines. We can use lines, art, any particular shape you want to create an office space. So you're not limited to your designs. Okay, so looking pretty good. Finally, the content we'll add is just going to add in a door. Uses the smart mates that we saw previously to snap them into place. But being a door, it also behaves like a smart component. It knows that it needs to cut a hole out in the wall. So when we drop it into place, you see that's done for us. Okay. So you see that in a matter of moments, we've created five office spaces. And if I'm a building planner, then I need to get information just like my floor, my floor space and wants to take off. And this information is available at the push on the button. The push on the button. Okay. We might also want to do some more, more analysis as well. So for example, we might be interested in uh, energy usage. So at this time of year, we might want to be interested in how much lighting and how much heating we need in this design. So we can do a solar study. So we put in the coordinates of the location in Waltham, Massachusetts, and we can see just by moving this slider, we can see where the sun goes and how the shadows appear. So we can see sun up is around about 7 a.m. And as we move the slider over, we can see the shadows move across the building. Until we get to the evening sunset around about 5 p.m. Okay, so you see SolidWorks Live Building, a fantastic new tool for designing buildings in 3D and collaborating with customers and suppliers. Feel great, Neil. Thanks.